for the theory that lefties are smart. Pretty pungent title, right? As I look down from my perch in heaven, I, George Orwell, marvel at how my telescreens, by which the authoritarian powers kept track of its citizens, are an apt symbol for the nightmare of surveillance that you all live in. I, for one, never thought lefties were smart. I am not sure that political people are smart. And even if they start out smart, they soon become dumb because of the need for amnesia. Don't you understand? Politics creates a need for amnesia. Amnesia fuels the engine of politics. The worse the politics, the more the amnesia. The more the amnesia, the dumber you get. That's why the people who watch Fox News can barely feed themselves. Just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, Direct from a sellout show at the Copacabana, Austin barely tolerated, Perry Logan! Who can be in and out, by the way. Bob! Who writes this stuff? Sorry about that trampoline routine, okay? It's a compulsion. I'm in a support group, okay? Welcome to my version of, of what's going on on October 12th, 2012. Kind of at the height of a, an election which is making everyone really stupid. Oh. <laughs> So much for the theory that the left are smart, huh? <laughs> Today's theme is, uh, uh, is so much for the theory that the lefties are smart. <laughs> Whoever thought that, right? Right! Okay, actually, I'm on, kind of on record as actually having espoused that theory. I don't want to go up against any real scientists or anything. <laughs> You know, and I'm totally biased, thinking lefties are smarter. But, you know, the truth is I've actually claimed that. You know, kind of in a satiric vein, okay? You know, satirically claim lefties are smart. Hey, even Jimmy Carter, the much maligned Jimmy Carter, was like a nuclear scientist, okay? Find me a Republican nuclear scientist and win a big prize! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, in this satiric offer, void in every state, find me a Republican who's a nuclear scientist and win a big prize. Well, uh, these days are gone. The days when I, Ferry Logan, would say the, uh, the left is smart and the right are dumb, and the left is smart and the right are dumb. Not anymore. I think, in all seriousness, the left are practicing a bad thing, a uh, political amnesia. And they have now become so stupid. I, I couldn't love them half so well did I not tell them how stupid they've become. Due to the practice of political amnesia, that old thing that the right is, that's like the trademark of the political right. 
This is one big lie. They believe everything they make, they make stuff up, they pull things out of their butt and then believe them. That's the political right in America. They pull things out of their butt, so to speak, and then believe them. Ew. They can do that. <laughs> well, the left are not that bad, but they're getting stupid by the minute, you see, because well, by now they can't tell a Democrat from a neocon. Can't tell a Democrat from a neocon? <laughs> It's the 21st century we can beam in. Mm. Do you remember? Come on, you all must remember. Even a child would remember four years ago and how relatively up we were. Yay! Is it okay if I use a technical term like up? We were, uh, we were, ah! Uh, four years ago, as a, as a, sort of as a nation, as a world. It was so euphoric. Don't you remember how like people lost their good sense? And they said things like, Obama is a great orator. <gasps> Wait a minute. Since when does a great orator have a pronounced speech impediment? A pronounced speech impediment? Oh, hello, Obama. That's you, isn't it? Yes, I've been transformed by an evil spell into an empty chair. And I'm not going to tell you how many drones I've sent out, and how many children I've killed with drones, and how many people I've killed with drones, and how many countries I'm sending drones into, and what my plans are with drones, or by what criteria I decide who gets killed. Well, thank you, Obama. Uh, I guess if you can't answer those questions, nobody can. Well, looky, looky here. Politics is full of amnesia. Amnesia is like the gasoline on which politics runs. And I think maybe the worse the politics, the, uh, the, the more amnesia you get. I cite the right wing as proof. <laughs> the right wing whom I oppose. I love them like brothers and sisters, but I want them out of my country. <laughs> the right live on amnesia, quite truly. They have, as a group, absolutely forgotten the tenure of George W. Bush. <laughs> oh, try to get a repub talking about George W. Bush. It's like pulling teeth, all right? So, <laughs> uh, bad politics certainly does run on amnesia. Was there not a little thing in 1984? Why, yes, Perry. Good God, it's George Orwell visiting the show. Yes, Perry, try to calm down. Hello, this is George Orwell looking down from heaven at the serious mess you all have gotten into. Your surveillance system totally transcends anything I envisioned in my classic novel of 1984. Yeah, well, we're not here to advertise your book, George. Well, yes, Perry. In that classic novel, one of the sayings was, we've always been at war with East Asia. Maybe you can explain that, Perry. Hey, a question I can answer. Yes, do you remember? You know, if you've reached a few years, you need to have read 1984. If it's at all possible for you. <laughs> but, uh, 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 yes. In 1984, one of the sayings, you know, they had these cool sayings, these, well, scary and cool sayings such as war is peace, ignorance is strength. One of the things they said in 1984 was, we've always been at war with East Asia. Does anybody remember that? I think it was East Asia. It was just this country, like one of the sections of the world in this world that George Orwell created. It was East Asia. And, uh, you know, we've always been at war with them was their attitude. Was that now they're at war with East Asia as of who knows when, right? As of a year, a month, a week. But in that world, 
everyone says we've always been at war. That was the frightening world that Orwell created, okay? Yeah. That's how bad that political amnesia thing can go. Well, in an election year, uh, all uh, political people in the U.S. all go nuts. Uh, perhaps this is true in, in other countries, but you see, ours uh, is, has a p particular goofy, delusional quality that is, I don't think, very closely matched in too many other countries. I, I hope not. And political people all go a little crazy and uh, get smitten with amnesia. <laughs> And I would say that anybody contemplating voting for the, uh, f for the Democratic ticket uh, has a terrible case of amnesia as to how far we've fallen. It's the, and I'm sorry, it's the only way to put it. Well, it's not the only way to put it. You could also say it was kind of like an elevator to hell. I'm sorry, it was, uh, you know, Obama's folks say what a great job he's done. He said, well, no, you see? It wouldn't be like an elevator to hell. If Obama done a decent job, there you go. Now, well, you know, it was such a, such a, it was such a catastrophic drop in expectations, what we saw then and felt then. Not, not me personally, really, but, you know, I'm just sort of saying as a group, and, you know, the left and the, the decent people of the world who had, like, had it up to here with the now-forgotten George W. Bush. The now-forgotten George W. Bush? <laughs> well, they're not talking about you, pal. Uh, uh, but that, that's a variation on it. You know, you just don't talk about things that are awkward. And it's reached a kind of a peak right now during the election year. The... Uh, political amnesia I referred to has now like so horribly smitten the Republicans <laughs> that our good friends uh, Mitt Romney and uh, Paul Ryan can barely go from one sentence to another without contradicting themselves. <laughs> this is what the left is saying, and I agree. There's no doubt the right hasn't changed. The amnesia's gotten to the, like, syntactic level, okay? <laughs> okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about! What I am talking about is that uh, I do think that most Democrats and people who think they might vote for Obama and other fools, uh, they just can't think about how far we've fallen. I mean, the whole presidency has been a little like an elevator shaft. Okay, I'm giving you different variations, like falling down an endless elevator shaft. Well, is there any other way to put it? Highway to hell? Being thrown off a precipice? Falling down an elevator shaft? Ah, perhaps being sucked into a black hole of despair and ums and ennui? I thought you'd like that. My friends, unless you're suffering from the worst form of amnesia, you'll know that your hopes were drained from you in the last four years. The prospect of a democratic decade lies in ruins at your feet, and the Republicans are resurgent. Mitt Romney, easily the worst campaigner ever, and a man with a recipe to destroy America, is currently leading by an infinitesimal margin in the polls. Ain't that something? At this moment in time, Obama just got done like totally screwing up in the first debate. He just like got trounced by a dog on the roof. Think about the monumental, incredible weirdness of that. So much for the theory that lefties are smart. So much for the theory that the lefties are smart. Hello, my friends. Have you noticed that lefties have suddenly become dumb? They are practicing the age-old art of political amnesia, whereby one simply forgets politically inconvenient facts. As for the fact that our good friend Barack Obama has broken virtually every campaign promise he ever made, 
This includes his pledges to support the public option in health care, which he totally betrayed, and his now infamous secret meetings with farm. Obama also pledged to close Guantanamo, raise the minimum wage, regulate Wall Street, support labor unions in their struggles with employers, bring change to the system, reform the Patriot Act, bring hope to America, negotiate an equitable peace between Israelis and Palestinians, curb our imperial expansion in the Middle East, stop torture, protect reproductive rights, carry out a comprehensive immigration reform, cut the deficit by half, create five million new energy jobs, and halt all foreclosures. Amnesia is everywhere on the left, and that's why lefties are staggering around, almost unable to feed themselves. They can't believe Obama can't pull ahead of the worst candidate ever, Mitt Dog on the Roof Romney, who will, if he wins, obviously wrest the crown of worst president ever from poor Obama, who recently just totally botched his first debate with Romney. Wow, Obama totally botched his first debate with Romney. It was humiliating. It was amazing. Lefties were keeling over, getting stupider by the minute, thinking, how could he have screwed up so much? Ladies and gentlemen, here's the man you wanted to see all along. The charismatic, all-knowing, man from the land of big mouths, Megamouth. Please, open your mouths for Austin's barely tolerated Megamouth. A wholly owned subsidiary of Perry Looking Enterprises. I'm a Megamouth and I'm here to stay. I'm a Megamouth. Hey, 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 hey. I say, oh, 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 I said, oh. Sorry, sorry. It's part. It's in my contract to be very, very silly. It's just my effort to understand our weird political world, our surreal and uh, scandalously corrupt political world, a world of politics which has, as Perry likes to say, gone all Alex Jones on us. Right, Alex? <laughs> version of a real guy, Alex Jones, and it's my a crazy way, my way, of, uh, of, of at least acknowledging that uh, our uh, government has gone the way of what uh, Alex always said it was. I don't think he was always right though, I'm not going to go that far, I just think it, it kind of went downhill. In the last four years, especially I'm sorry, but especially, there are things that are not only getting worse, but getting far worse, breaking new records of worseness and awfulness. I have often cited these things. They're real numbers. It really suggests that it's as I say, uh, unless you remember how far we've fallen, we are like down at the bottom of an elevator shaft. All right, a well. All right, well then, just a kind of a plummet in, in many respects. I'm not just talking about economic stuff. I'm talking about things like the political prospects of the Democrats. Yes, don't you recall? Well, I do recall. <laughs> That's why I have such a big mouth. So I can tell you that, you know, the political prospects of the Democrats were like sky high. I let me hear you say sky in 2008, at least that's what we all thought. No, it really. Who knew Obama was going to screw up so much? It was kind of like that debate. He just had a debate in which Obama, like, kind of, like, totally bit it. And then, like, totally screw up and humiliated himself and let none other than Mitt Dog on the Roof Romney, the worst campaigner ever, almost literally mopped the floor, just mopping the floor with Obama's head, 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 mopping the floor with Obama's head. Which I feel is kind of an emblem of the whole presidency. I mean, 
uh, you can't you can't say things are okay when the Democrats uh, were looking at a democratic decade. Uh, another thing I like to cite: real people, I you know the ones we used to think were smart. Don't you see the lefties that we used to think were so smart? Are the ones who said, you know, this is in 2008. Oh, this is in 2008. You know. <laughs> Here's the lefties in 2008. You know, it's gonna be a Democratic decade. <laughs> Repeat after me, a Democratic decade. <laughs> Talk about failure of leadership. Hello? Has, has the, have you all died? Oh, God damn it. Bob, who, who writes, writes this, this stuff? stuff? That's what I say. Yay! 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 Ah! Many would say, in all seriousness, that Barack Obama is turned out to be a neoliberal. What tells that? I, Perry Logan, will explain it to you. As the, as the term is currently used, a neoliberal is a neocon who wishes to take advantage of the resources of the Democratic Party. A neoliberal is a neocon who wishes to take advantage of the resources of the Democratic Party. Yes, and there is no need to repeat everything I say. So. This takes us all the way back to uh, f what I'm saying is, in all seriousness, for all practical purposes, Obama is a, what can I say, severely right-wing dude who says left-wing stuff, and we love this, but that's my story. That's my story. He says left-wing stuff, and, and people feel that he says it very eloquently. Says it very eloquently? Yes, Mr. President. <laughs> Among the other casualties of lefty amnesia, other than their intelligence, is they kind of have to forget about the, uh, the plummeting into the depths of despair, angst, and ennui. Ooh, and uh, some real bummers too, real bummers. Uh, the uh, story of human rights is like a kind of a, there's been a conflagration of human rights. Uh, you know, a, an actual aggressive attack on human rights under the, a Democrat, you know. To me that just kind of guts the whole meaning, may I say, tears out the heart of everything that would make you want to vote Democratic, why would you, you know, if you're going to get that, you see, there's no difference. So, I, I regret to say my fellow lefties have responded to this by kind of like just blanking it out in a kind of a political amnesia thing, okay? I can tell, uh, you've got it too. But don't get political amnesia, my friend. Vote for the progressive third party of your choice. The Greens are looking good this year. I'm here to tell you. The, the Greens are looking, looking good, good this year. I'm here to, to tell, tell you. you. The point is, Bill Clinton is a real 
centrist Democrat, and Obama is, is like a neocon posing as one. Is this cool? You see, so Obama is saying things that Bill Clinton might say, you know, uh, but I think he follows through. It all turns into like neocon heaven. And neocon heaven is hell for you and me. Neocon heaven is all the stuff we got in the last four years as we went down this big elevator of fun. <laughs> uh, well, among other things, of uh, a political uh, prospects, uh, all kidding aside, are not looking good. Never mind the economy, never mind these other things. The Democrats, uh, in my opinion, have swung so far to the right, they have just like, kind of like run the ball the wrong way down the field for four years. And people are leaving the party in droves. That's another thing that uh, I can't get through to my left-wing cousins. <laughs> So, so much, much for the theory that the lefties are smart. <laughs> so much for the theory that lefties are smart. I get, 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 get.